our ship is the Captain Klodnikov. Before the trip is over, we will experience several 40 degrees plus holes, not to mention a fair number of pitches. I spend a lot of time on deck and enjoy everything I see, but the first sea ice that comes into view is a milestone that is really special for me. Tabular icebergs are formed when huge pieces of shelf ice break loose. What we call icebergs are formed when ice breaks off from glaciers. Our two helicopters are the ship's eye. The ice pilot uses them as he searches for leads in what often looks like unbroken ice to the horizon, but is not. The weather is fabulous when I land on the beach at 10 minutes before midnight. The place is a wonderland. I don't know where to look first. Adelis are the fastest growing of all of the penguins, and an Adeli chick generally will fledge in about 60 days. I have a sense of well-being. I won't soon forget the time I spent on Cape Adair. The next day, the weather continues in our favor as we move in the pack ice toward Cape Hallett. The trans-Antarctic mountains are on our starboard side as we continue southward. The Adelis look a little different in the midday light than they did at midnight, but they are just as interesting. The females have disputes over nesting sites which are loud, but usually bloodless. The magic began for me around 9 p.m. The Cape Washington colony is either the largest or the second largest emperor penguin colony in the world. It is really nice here. They can reach a height of more than four feet, and a weight of over 90 pounds. Something in the channel caught my eye. At first, I could not identify it. Then I realized it was a pot of orcas, or killer whales. The adult emperors began leaping out of the water to return to the colony. Iceberg B-15A, the largest iceberg ever observed. B-15A is over 100 miles long and 21 miles wide. We got a better view of B-15A than I ever thought we would. I didn't know it at the time, but my visit to the Emperor Colony on Kuhlman Island was the last time I would land in Antarctica on this trip. This one is periscoping for penguins, large or small, and has gotten everyone attention. There is no hierarchy among penguins. They will follow any purposeful behavior. This is why penguins form lines when they travel. Time is not my friend. At some point, I must leave. <laughs> 